What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Sky Jordan here, and in today's video, man, I'm gonna be showing you how to record with Auto Tune way soon. Whatever pitch correction that you got, I'm gonna show you how to set it up because if it's not working right, bro, you might be doing something wrong. But I'm gonna walk you through how I set it up. All right, so we're gonna record some vocals, and we're gonna have the Auto Tune on the vocals. First thing you wanna do, man, you wanna pull up a new track, right? So this is what I'm gonna do, man. You wanna pull up a new track, all right? Um, with that being said, man, we're gonna record. Let's see, record. I can't spell record here. All right, and we got audio one. You know what I'm saying? We got color, whatever color. I'm gonna pick this color. Um, we want mono. All right, no preset. And this is one of my presets. All right. Um, input left or right, with whichever one you want. But I always go with left because I'm recording with mono. You know what I'm saying? And output main. All right. Boom. So we got a record track here. Like now we have this right here. I'm gonna show you how to set up the vocal chain, right? So we have this. So this is what it sounds like with no plugins on. This is my signal. All right, so we go to our mix window, right? Here we go, we got mix. All right, so we're gonna be messing with our inserts here. So the first insert we wanna add, that I'm gonna add, we're gonna put an auto tune here. So I'm gonna put auto tune, I'm gonna put auto tune pro or EFX, I don't know. Let's put EFX, right? Because I ain't, I ain't used it in a minute. So there we go. We're going to put this on. You know what I'm saying? So we got B minor. All right. Switch that over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you should, like, you really don't hear it right now because you really can't hear it. So if you having problems hearing your auto tune, it's because you don't have a compressor on it or you're not boosting your signal so you can hear it loud enough, right? Because it's there. Right, it sounds regular like I'm talking, but yeah, it trust me, it's there. So once we add some auto tune, so we just gotta add a compressor. We gotta boost that signal. It's like recording through so you can actually hear it louder. So you just wanna boost enough to where you can hear it. So where you can hear it, where you can hear it. So you got that set, right? For as far as recording with auto tune, that's what you want. All right. So but to take it to another step, another like another level, you just want to add like some type of reverb. So reverb is always cool to have. Yeah. I just want I just want to get you right. So. But look, that's how you record with auto tune. That's how you record with vocals in Studio One, right? and that's how you do it the easiest way possible, man. The easiest way. That's how you record auto tune vocals in Studio One. Right? That's how you get your auto tune to hit right, right? Because you can still hear it on my voice because I got the compressor on, yeah, and auto tune on. Oh my God! <laughs> but look, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And I see you in another video, right? Make sure you subscribe, subscribe, because I'm. Oh. But make sure you make. I can't talk, but make sure you subscribe to the channel and stick around because I'm giving away ways some real time for free once I hit ten thousand subscribers. But um, I see you in another video, right? <laughs>